what's going on people we are here and this is a quick tutorial so I'm thinking of doing an online course in Skillshare so leave a comment below let me know if you want some simple courses beginner course in blender so we open up blender click general and this is what you start with this is the general starting point <clears throat> what do you have you have a camera let's go over to the right you have a camera you see it highlighted a cube highlighted and a light so you see when you click on something it's highlighted now right this camera button right here click it now you're in camera mode so we, we've already learned when we click when we click an object it's highlighted we can click camera mode to swing into camera mode now I strongly advise all beginners to click push in and pops this toolbar out so that's in push in go to view and click lock to camera now if we go here and scroll now it didn't work <laughs> so click camera mode um this is the new one so what lock to camera view there we go now you see when i click it there's a little you can see the little dotted lines if i unclick it click it now i'm locked in the camera mode so now whenever i move my mouse my camera goes with me i strongly recommend everyone start there now let's jump in let's click i want to use the cube let's just use the cube so i can push tab and now see how it's object mode over to the left here look over here <laughs> object mode edit mode object mode so you start in object mode tab for edit mode and we're going to do let's do a right click or no let's do a control r so control r is to split an object click don't move your mouse click once if you move a mouse this is what's going to happen click twice so you don't want that apple z so control r click once click twice and it's set now what you want to do you can push b b is to box select now box select all of this one side and then x move the faces so what i'm showing you is how to make a model how to make a character how to make something using the mirror mirror mode so you can come over here to the right and the modifier I'm going to add a mirror modifier and then mirror on the cube we're going to mirror the object it's not it's not working you know why because it's not selected so that's what I'll do I'll take that off I'll go back out here push a let's see so I, what I feel like you have to do is get out of edit mode so let's go to object mode so we're in object mode add modifier add mirror I'm going to mirror to this object so mirror let's do a kind of do the pointer <laughs> fail to set value all right it's not working so that's good let's go and troubleshoot this so let me see x axis there we go so let's work out what happened so you see right here the axis I can take it off and push Z and let me put click the move button for your gimbal so you see your gimbal so this blue is the Z axis the red is the X axis the yellow is the Y axis so I wanna mirror it on the other side of the Y not the Z not the X so I push the Y and it's mirrored now. So, so I, I push tab again. You see the highlighted side is what you have, and the unhighlighted side is the mirrored side. Cool. So now let's build. So you can click on the face up here top. It says face select. Click on the face and push E. See that? You can move your faces. You can go over. And click clipping or non clipping. So, clipping is prevent vertices from going through the mirror during transform, it keeps everything from clipping. All right, so say if, but now if I push S, it's going to clip. Well, you see how it sticks together? So, S is for scale. So, S to go down now. Say if I unclick clipping and then I do E and S, 
now they go apart you see you see that so clipping keeps them together if you unclip clipping go apart so look at that just made something now go to the back I'll push II and that's for to inset now if you want to have multiple faces go up here and click individual origins so this is what we can do we can right click and subdivide come down here to subdivide and scroll up to now what I can do is II and it's not working so I, I. so there we go so now I made like little windows and if I push E they'll all come out now say if I take off let's just go to median point E still did it cool so let's keep it on individual origins now I can go E and go back to inset it see so this this is I'm making I love sci-fi so I do this for different things now if we go to down here to materials so there's already a material I'm gonna do plus I'm gonna add another material for what I have highlighted so always do plus when you add another material and I'm just gonna do like a an emission I can turn the strength up and let's see how let's go up here to the right top right this is how it looks now push assign and got some lights a little trick here you can go to render properties add bloom add screen space screen space reflections and you want to turn on refraction and that's cool so if that's too bright for you just go to bloom and take it down take down the radius and the intensity and there you go that's like a little rocket you know a little rocket blaster I can go to the world and make it black if I want let's say if I want to change the color of this I'll tab just to kind of go back to the mode and you go back to your materials and click on the top material I can change the color see that it's like a blue little blaster or we can do pink hot pink or we can do gold little gold blaster and we can even make it let me see shift a is how you add things so say if I want to go over here shift a I'm gonna add a light a camera just do shift a I can add a sun take up the sun I can go here again increase or decrease the radius let's see. I can go shift a again and add whatever I like so if I want to do an area light it'll pop up there I can move it up or that's a scale and this is to move it up and I can put the power up Make it really bright so there's some simple techniques I'm starting with uh, I can do a, as you can see I'm moving fast but there's a lot to learn and you can come in here and have fun I can turn this to something metallic got metallic you know make it metal get the roughness to take it down or up can make it transparent uh, I'm gonna be back I'm gonna I may do a course let me know leave a comment below I may do a course I may export this and make it uh, mint it as a blockchain item who knows got some cool things coming up I am developing some cool ideas in the background also check out Adore. Uh, Adore is the platform we are working on right here. Got the farming live. So this is Adore where I want to just curate other artists. Have fun, feature yourself, and bring your artwork to the blockchain space. Hit me up. Leave a comment below. Check me out on Twitter at PhenomenalMark. Uh, more to come. Thanks for all the love and support. Shout out to the community. We're in this together and we're going to a new phase. You know, this next cycle, this next year. Uh, have fun and do what you love. All right now. Peace.